ओके नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द जिब्रेलिन सिग्नलिंग पाथवे जिब्रेलिक एसिड सिग्नलिंग अलाउज द प्लान सेल्स टू ग्रो एंड एक्सपैंड नाउ विदाउट जिब्रेलिन द प्लान मे बी डू ऑफ विथ प्रॉपर जिब्रेलिन परसेंटेज एंड कंसेंट्रेशन द प्लान आर ऑफ नॉर्मल हाइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट जिब्रेलिन सिग्नलिंग to understand zebrelin signaling let's first talk about the different components of the zebrelin signaling pathway and like every signaling pathway there must be a ligand a receptor some inhibitors and the zebrelin response genes so we'll start with the ligand zebrelic acid itself acts as a ligand for this signaling pathway then we have a re- receptor in this case the receptor is dela receptor which is also known as dela repressor the receptor for gibberellic acid here acts as a repressor of the signaling pathway and this dela repressor has a dela domain and a gras domain then comes the example of this repressor in rice the example of dela repressor known as slr1 while in arabidopsis the examples are gai and rga the full forms are pretty easy to find in google now comes the target repressor and this repressor targets are phytochrome interacting factor that is pif as well as the molecular chaperones that are present in the plant cell those are the targets of this repressor of this dela repressor and then comes the transcription factors in this case ga insensitive dwarf 1 protein or gid1 protein and 26s proteasome complex so these are the components involved in the process of gibberellic acid signaling okay so now we'll see what happens in the absence of gibberellic acid normally what happen is that the nucleus contains the regulatory region and gibberellic acid specific response genes which will ultimately make proteins will regulate the responses of gibberellic acid now normally when everything is fine when there is no repressor the gibberellic acid specific genes will be transcribed into the specific mrna will be trans transported to the cytosol and will be translated into their respective proteins but when there is gibberellic acid absence when there is no gibberellic acid present in the plant cell then this dela repressor which is there present inside the nucleus it goes inside the nucleus and this dela repressor will go and associate itself with gid gid1 or the transcription factor responsible for the ga specific gene transcription will be inhibited by the dela repressor here so once dela repressor is associated with gid1 it inhibits gid1 and then this dela repressor binds to the regulatory region and what it does it it put a stop to the ga specific gene transcription this is a situation when there is no gibberellic acid present but now when there is gibberellic acid present when there is a gibberellic acid then this gibberellic acid directly go inside the nucleus and here the gibberellic acid will bind to the gid1 more new gid1s not that one which are already bound to the dela even uh, some which are bind to the dela now this gibberellic acid once associated with the gid1 then it adds another protein from f box that is scf1 this scf1 acts as a f box complex protein and this protein is involved in the polyubiquitination of target proteins and causes the 26s proteasome mediated degradation of the protein so once the ga1 associate itself with gid1 and scf1 then they in recruit a lot of ubiquitin to the dela repressor so dela repressor will be polyubiquitinated and as the dela repressor is polyubiquitinated then this dela repressor will be degraded utilizing the 26s proteasome complex and as a result there is a destruction of the dela repressor and once the destruction of the dela repressor is done then we can say that gid1 is free to interact to the receptor and regulatory site of the ga specific genes and as a result the ga specific gene transcription can begin okay and 
the GS specific G response mRNA, the gibberellic acid response elements mRNA will be produced in the nucleus, will be transferred to the cytoplasm and will be translated into their distant proteins. And that's how the gibberellic acid signaling ultimately relay in presence of gibberellic acid. So gibberellic acid acts to turn on the signaling and the absence of gibberellic acid causes the turn off the gibberellic acid signaling.